Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Ethos's bamboo farm. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. All the credit goes to Ethos for designing this machine. I'll put a link in the description to the video I got this from. I'm just creating this video for a tutorial because he did not have one in his channel. Here's the farm itself. This farm was built for 1.16 because zero ticking got taken out of that version. And this farm takes so much bone meal, but it is so efficient and you get more than enough bamboo from it. So I'm going to show you how the farm works. This is the on switch here. And it creates a constant pulse from this comparator here. And it activates all these dispensers, uh, putting bone meal onto this bamboo right here. And these pistons are constantly getting zero ticked by this observer here, pushing all the bamboo into this soil sand water stream up here and you're getting all your bamboo up here. And down here, this is where all your bone meal is getting collected by this hopper minecart going back and forth and putting them all into these barrels for the dispensers to use. And trust me, this farm produces way more bamboo than you'll ever need. Okay, let's go ahead and start off with the build. First off, just place down a bamboo here. And you can always build this underground, but I'm doing it above ground for this tutorial. Ethos built his underground. And then go ahead and place one, two dispensers like this, and then another two on the side and another two on this side. Make sure they're facing into the bamboo. And then come over here and then place down two hoppers. Make sure you're on the left side. And then come over here, place another two going to that dispenser, another two here, and another two here, and another two here like this and then come on to the top over here and then make sure you place a barrel like this and on top of all of the hoppers like that now again come to the left side of the build and then place down one two three one two one one two and then one two three again and make sure these hoppers are all facing into these barrels here this is what's going to distribute all of the bone meal now go ahead and get your building blocks and then come to the back of the build here and then place down a temporary block and another block there place down a temporary block and another block here so they should be on both sides like this and then on this block here place down a lever and then flip it down and then over here place down rails make sure these are powered rails and then place down a hopper minecart like this and it sh should start rolling if you have this lever down and then place down a chest here and another chest here so you should have something looking like this now and then place down all of your bone meal in this chest this farm takes so much this will be gone very quickly and all this minecart is doing is picking up this bone meal slowly and taking it from these hoppers into these dispensers here to grow the bamboo up and then come over here place down redstone here onto this barrel into that dispenser and then around like this so you should have it like this now now again come to the left side of the build place down one two one two one two and then one two on this side like this so you should have a platform like this and then go ahead and place a repeater here and then one two three redstone like that and then place down a comparator there and then make sure it's on subtract mode so you just right click once and then place down redstone dust here another piece of redstone and a lever here and this is what is going to make that constant pulse for these dispensers to uh, place down bone meal and if you can if you turn it on it should be working and your bamboo should start growing like that instantly now on the right side of the build come over here and then place a soul sand on top and another one on top like this so it should be here and that is one two three four five blocks above the bamboo so it should just float there and this is what's gonna make the bubble elevator for your bamboo and then from here place an observer facing in to this redstone here where the face is right there and then go ahead and place a temporary block here and another one on the top like this and then place a redstone dust here and another one there so you should have something like this now now from right here, go up 10 pistons. So place a temporary block here, place a sticky piston there, and then break the temporary block and go up uh, 10 pistons. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten pistons. So it should be a height of that. And then place down glass on these uh, sticky pistons all the way down to the bottom. Now come to the back of the pistons and then place down slabs like this. And then one underneath and then break the top part. And then we're just gonna do this all the way up so it activates all of the pistons. And then for your next one, just place this and again like this and then one underneath and like that. So just do that all the way to the top of the pistons. And it should be looking like this now. So I've done all of them and it's just a little redstone signal going all the way up to the top so it can activate all of these pistons breaking the bamboo. We are so close to being done with this build. All we have to do now is encase the bamboo with glass and then put in the water elevator. So come down here, place a glass block here and then go one and then like this and another glass block here. So there should be four in total and then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Another glass block there and then one, two here and then place a, another one there. And then just build your way all the way to the top. So bring this all the way up and do this for all of these glass panes. All right, so when you're finished, it should be looking like this now. Now we're gonna put in the bubble elevator. As you guys probably know already, you can place down kelp and that will make solid blocks for water. So just place a water bucket at the top here and then replace the soul sand at the bottom for a solid block so you can place down kelp because you can't can't place down kelp on uh, soul sand. So just go all the way to the top and that makes them all water blocks and then just break it and then replace this bottom block with your soul sand. But you have to be very quick careful not to get it all over the redstone and destroy it. So just do that. And then you can also use ice, you just break it from the bottom and it'll create a water source and yeah there's many ways of doing it but yeah that's the way I did it with kelp and your bubble stream should be working as you can see the bubbles are going up already and your machine is complete and that is basically it now you can check all your dispensers if they're filled with bone meal so these are still filling up but it's probably out of bone meal already yeah it is as I said before, this farm takes a lot of bone meal, so just keep that in mind, and you can turn it on right now, and it should be fully working. As you can see, it's already spewing uh, lots of bamboo out of the top, and that is it for this build. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. And if you'd like to see any other YouTuber builds, just leave a comment down below, and see you in the next video. Bye bye!